Hi, welcome to showmethecurry.com. I'm Hithal. I'm Anuja. And today we're going to be showing you how to make a very popular and a very requested recipe. We're going to be showing you how to make chili chicken. Very simple recipe. Let's get started. So over here we have uh, cut approximately a pound of chicken. And we're using chicken thighs, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And we've cut them down to bite-sized pieces. And we're going to salt and we're going to put some pepper. So this is just very lightly salted because the main flavor and the, there's going to be a lot of salt in the sauce or in the gravy part of it. And I'm going to mix it. And I also have here one and a half tablespoons of cornstarch. And I'm just going to sprinkle this over there and we're going to mix it through. The cornstarch is going to make a nice little coating on the chicken as we saute it. And also it's going to give a nice glazy effect at the end. So most recipes for chili chicken that you've had or you've seen at restaurants, the chicken is actually deep fried. but you know, we're making this at home for our family and who wants to use all that oil to fry this chicken and then you're going to have to throw that oil out at the end. So in terms of wasting oil and in terms of health benefits also, we don't want to eat a lot of fried foods. Mm -hmm. We're choosing not to deep fry this recipe, but if you want to deep fry it, you know, it's absolutely possible. You can just deep fry it instead of sauteing it. So also for the chili chicken, we have these nice dried red chilies. And what we're going to do is just take some scissors and chop them down. And what this does is basically mixes the flavor of the chilies throughout the dish as well as release some of those seeds which mm, we love. <laughs> so now that we got our chicken prepped and a lot of our ingredients prepped, we've got a wok heating up in the back with some oil in it. So let's get back to the stove. We have four tablespoons of oil heating up on medium to high heat and we're going to drop in the chicken and we're going to try and spread it out so it doesn't clump up together. And try and put it directly into the oil so that it gets a little bit of oil and it doesn't catch to the side and doesn't get dried up. And we'll mix it so it gets evenly cooked and evenly coated in the oil. And you're going to cook it uncovered until the chicken is cooked all the way through. Okay, the chicken looks done. We've been stirring it constantly, making sure it all is separate and does not clump up together. We've actually cut one through the center to make sure the chicken is not pink inside and uh, that way we know it's ensured it's cooked all the way through. We're going to pull all the chicken to the side, drain out all the excess oil, uh, keep it in a platter. In the same oil, we're going to add in the dry red chilies, allow them to cook just a little bit, 30 second head start, let the chilies release some flavor. And to that we're going to add in 2 tablespoons of ginger, 2 tablespoons of garlic and green chili slit to taste. And we're going to let this mixture cook for about just a minute. We're now going to add in half a medium onion chopped and approximately one bell pepper. We've chosen to use three different colors but you can use any one. We're going to mix and cook it for about a minute. And the flame is on a medium to high flame. Uh, Chinese cooking is always uh, done that way. We want the vegetables to remain crunchy and not become limp. Vegetables look done. They're glistening. We're going to add 3 tablespoons of soy sauce or to taste. Two tablespoons of sambal or any kind of chili sauce and one tablespoon of vinegar. We mix it. And now we're going to add in the chicken. Give it another toss. So we're going to toss it until all the sauce gets incorporated well and it becomes a nice glistening mixture and the chicken has time to reheat as well. So as you can see, the sauce is all clinging to the chicken. That's how we want it. And last uh, step, we're going to add some spring onions. We're going to turn off the stove and just give it one final toss. And it's ready to serve. So our chili chicken is ready. How good does it look? <laughs> wow, I think the different colored bell pepper is just gives it a visual treat. And of course, if you're a chicken lover, mm. There's no, <laughs> there's no stopping you. So I'm going to give it a shot. Now this has to be eaten right off the stove. Mm -hmm. It's the best when it's absolutely fresh. I know, I'm a little worried to have it hot though. Mm. 
right on. <laughs> now again, it's chili chicken. It's a healthy form of chili chicken that we like that it was not fried and you know it's it's going to give you the same amount of flavor and just this oomph of flavor mm -hmm. and you don't have to worry about throwing out all that oil. It's really good. The, we have actually put like very um, I wouldn't say mild, medium spices so if you want to scale it up or down it's entirely up to you. You can add on more sambal, you can add on more green chilies. Um, you know sometimes those green chilies are questionable, yeah. sometimes they're super spicy and sometimes they're nothing. So you know scale it up to your uh, standard but the flavor is there not just of the chili it's the ginger the garlic the soy sauce the chicken it's just a great combination so you can have it with you know fried rice you can have it with noodles um or by itself <laughs> or by itself absolutely <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yep versatile so if you'd like if you like this recipe and you'd like to see more from us uh, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your family and friends all about us. Mm -hmm. And join this delicious chili chicken and join us again on another episode of ShowMeTheCurry.com. Adding a pinch of spice to your life. Mm -hmm.